Hey guys, welcome back. Now I've seen various people using various products to make some really neat commercials. So I thought I want to give that a go. So I'm going to use a smartphone though instead of a DSLR and I'm using the iPhone 11. Our product is going to be this bag of popcorn. Let's go have some fun and I'll take you step by step through it. There you go, that was our first move, no strings attached. I found this was the easiest way to get the bag to stand up without me having to do a lot of work in the video software. So I just simply used this metal pole and on the back of the bag I have a piece of tape that this just hooked underneath which allowed me to stand that up. Very basic, very simple. I tried using fishing line but I only had uh, like a 20 pound test line and it was a little too thick and I couldn't quite get it to disappear. You're always better if you're going to use fishing line, you want to get the lightest you can. Four pound test and under works pretty good and you can get various colors to kind of match them with your backgrounds. But I thought this was the easiest way to get that to go. I thought that move looked pretty cool. Now let's talk about my setup here. My surface is a piece of white plexiglass. My lighting, above me I have a CN160 that yeah, I know, that CN160, it's being really useful. I have it overhead, just giving some light onto the background, create that bit of a halo effect around our product. This piece of black you see is simply a black flag stopping light hitting the top of the bag because before I put that up there, the light was reflecting off the top of the bag and no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to look right. Even trying to adjust the light, I couldn't get the halo in the right spot. So putting that black flag stops the light hitting the top of this bag and uh, causing some issues because this protects it. It's now in the shade. I'm just simply using a boom arm over top. That was that boom arm that didn't work too well. I kind of fixed it because I drilled a hole into the pipe. Now the screw goes into that and it, can't, it won't rotate. Perfect. So I'm quite happy with that. Now our main light is an LED panel over here and it's being shot through a big umbrella to tr try and create that softer light. If you remember from my how to shoot a shiny product video, it gives you some tips and tricks to it. So we're not front lighting, our lighting is off to the side here and we do have a pretty good look and I do have some overhead uh, daylight balance lighting going on which has helped filling this in. So that's our basic setup to do this and you just saw the first move. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, in this move, we're doing a push-in on the subject. If you'd watched one of my previous videos, you'd seen on the B-roll how I did some of these moves. I'll put a link to that down below so you can check it out. But basically, I'm just using my cell phone on a tripod, and I've got fabric underneath the tripod, which allows it to slide smoothly without all the jittering going on. Now, to stand our product up, it's easy. It's just a bag. I can put anything in behind it that I want. I'm using my famous lens mug to go in behind just to stand the bag up while we photograph it. So let's get that set up. So there's our bag. Now we've got to get our overhead light turned on. There we go. Stage is set. Now all we need to do is hit record on the iPhone and do a slow push in and I always tend to do a pull back because sometimes my pull back is smoother than my push in and on the pull back I can just reverse it in post and I can get a push in. So either way you want it and maybe you want to do a pull out versus the push in look. That's entirely up to you. The trick is though that this has to slide smoothly in on your subject and you need to keep your subject as centered as possible. All right, so it's simply just taking your cell phone and sliding in as smoothly as you possibly can. I'm not even looking at this, and I'm centered at least on it, but you get the general idea. Have your prop all set up, all lit nice, then put something underneath your tripod, and then do your push in to do that close-in look. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. It's a little trickier with the cell phone, but you can be out of focus, and then pull back and reveal it in focus, or you can be out of focus, push in, and reveal the subject in focus. That's easier to do with a DSLR than it is with this. I'm just using the in-camera app. 
All right, so that's it for this move. Check out the clip. All right, on the next move, we're gonna do a pan across the name of the company. So in this case, it's the Smart Food. So we're just gonna pan across the front of that right in close. Now you got a couple of ways of doing it. The cell phone is already on a, a tripod. So if it's sitting on fabric, I can simply slide the tripod back and forth. Now, this is on kind of, uh, it's a lower end version, but it's on like a video tripod head because it has that panning ability versus a ball head. So I can just take this and slide like this, just rotating it back and forth to do a pan across the title. Now it's a short distance that I'm doing it, so I'm not getting a bending arc. I am, but it's a very tiny one that you won't notice. Now to get a smooth pull on this, trust the elastic band, just simply hook it on to the tripod handle and then use that to control the pan head and you will get a smoother pan back and forth because any shaking in your hand gets lost in the elastic band. So good little tip for you there. So that's it. I've just simply zoomed in on the bag, got the title in and that's going to create our next little clip. So this is the part now where we've got the bag open and we're going to have the popcorn exploding out of the top. I'm going to be the model in this. I think this part's going to be pretty cool. So let's give it a go here. So I've got the bag open and I have my assistant ready to uh, throw some popcorn up to make it look like it's blowing up out of the bag. Well, after multiple attempts of that, I abandoned that idea. So what I did instead was I made a popcorn cannon. This worked really good. There it is there. It's basically a paper towel tube attached to a vacuum cleaner hose that's on the exhaust port of my shop vac. I just loaded some popcorn in here and it blew up. Now I did have to cover half the hole on the uh, other end of the hose because when I first did it, it came up like a solid little baseball and nailed the ceiling. So it didn't have the effect I wanted. By cutting half the airflow down, I got some really cool effects, like in this little clip here for the video. Now for a little more fun. Now that we've played with the bag a little more, what we're gonna do is we're going to take the bag into the next step. And what we're going to do is I've got a piece of tape on the back of the bag and the same as I did to make it stand up. I'm using this piece of metal again. And what we're going to do is I'm going to stand the bag up. I'm going to be behind it out of sight and I'm going to push the bag over. That way it looks like the bag is spilling by itself like that. Delicious popcorn spilling out right in front of the camera, nice and close up. It should be a really cool shot. Let's have some fun. Check out this clip. All right, now we get into the trickier part of the uh, video, and that's gonna be introducing this little popcorn bucket. Now, I'm gonna actually have an assistant do it for me while they're uh, being recorded. That way I can use the iPhone 11 to handhold because they're gonna do a twirl, they're gonna come up with the bucket and then down. And I wanna be able to do that action with the cell phone to increase the, the, uh, the movement within that video clip. So they're basically they're just gonna kinda do a little spin like that and then bang. I imagine this one's gonna take a few takes. We've tried various different options and uh, yeah, somehow we're gonna get this to work whether it's a flip or a twist, but we're gonna introduce this in a cool way hand-holding the iPhone 11 to get some really cool motion. Check out the clip. Now we're into our next little set of clips that we need to create for our commercial. What we're going to be doing is taking our bag of popcorn and we are going to be pouring into containers and filming the pours. We're going to film one from straight on. We're going to film one with the popcorn coming down. Then I'm going to take the iPhone 11 and I'm going to put it in the bowl and shoot with the popcorn coming down on top of it. 
Now, it won't fit in my actual popcorn container that I want to use. We're going to use the iPhone in this bowl, which will work out really well. I'll simply put the phone in there, adjust the brightness to basically the ceiling, and then do the pour into it, making sure I get some light coming in from top down on it. And it'll look like it was poured into this because I'm going to cut those little sequences all together and they'll be fairly quick so you won't notice or you shouldn't notice that the iPhone wasn't in a small box like this. You're just simply going to see the popcorn coming down on top of the lens and then different pour angles. So that's what we're going to do now. And this should be a lot of fun and more mess. I think I got more popcorn on the floor today. But anyways, check out the pours. Well, I don't know about you, but let's check out this commercial. I think that came out pretty good. I, I had so much fun doing this and there was a lot of challenges, things I haven't done before and I had to think my way through it and figure out how I was going to do it to get the effects in that I was after. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the end result. Very, very good. Yeah, a lot of fun. I suggest anybody out there that's into doing some video or even learning, give it a go. See what you can do and uh, yeah, be very, very interested to see some of your work. Now, I did learn about buttery smooth video. I've been hearing about that a lot and don't really like it, but I understand it now because after putting my iPhone in the bucket and pouring buttery popcorn on top, my iPhone now has a layer of butter on it. Now I get it, buttery smooth video. I finally understand. Well, with a lot of cleaning, the phone is good to go. All right. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post a new video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, it really does help me out, thanks. So, until the next time.